Well, details have slowly come out this week about what led to an elevator collapse inside an Atlanta apartment building claiming the life of a young student athlete. Today, Atlanta police released body camera footage of the moments leading up to that incident and the attempt to rescue that young man. Joe Henke walks us through the video. The nearly two hours of body camera footage shows the chaotic moments when Atlanta police and firefighters arrived at the building behind me on Tuesday, then the long process to free the man who was pinned by the elevator, and finally it captures surveillance video showing the moment the elevator collapsed. How many people's in there? The surveillance video shows the elevator moving down, its doors open, a crowd of people on board as a few escape, but Jamarcus McFarlane became pinned between the top of the elevator and the floor. A report from Atlanta Fire listed 16 people plus McFarland as being on the elevator. McFarland recently moved to Atlanta to play football at Championship Prep Academy and lived in this Highland Avenue building with his teammates where the incident happened. Atlanta Fire previously described the elevator as collapsing. The property manager tells 11 Alive the elevator's weight limit of 3,000 pounds was exceeded by nearly 1,000 pounds. State records show the elevator's yearly inspection permit expired in August of 2020. When officers and firefighters arrived, McFarland's teammates are huddled around the elevator, encouraging him. The officer directs all the players to leave the floor, though. If you want to help, you have to go back. As more and more firefighters arrive and need room to work. The entire process to free McFarland takes over an hour. Meanwhile, the officer is gathering information on what led to McFarland becoming trapped. His friend said that he, it was higher and he jumped to crawl out and it started moving slowly. He was trying to explain how he must have been holding both hands and he something once on a stretcher, firefighters take McFarland to Atlanta Medical Center next door where he died. The officer, by the end of the video, is shaken and takes a seat. I wasn't expecting that. The incident from Tuesday is being looked into by state investigators. As soon as they release findings of their investigation, we'll update you on 11alive.com. All right, Joe, thanks a lot. So in the past hour, lawyers representing the family of the young man announced that they plan to conduct an independent investigation into the incident.